we have so many great things that are going on in the world right now, right? But there's also these, all of these imminent dangers. There's the danger of climate change, there's the dangers of wars, but the one thing that could, you know, just reset human progress by tomorrow is nuclear weapons. And so if there was an organization to stop that, and that's exactly what this is, right, then how could I not be enthusiastic about it? How could I not want to join it? I'm Veronica Chokro, 23 years old, from Jakarta, Indonesia. Всем привет, меня зовут Наталья, я из России. Uh, вопросы нераспространения ядерного оружия меня интересуют уже довольно-таки давно. I was born in China originally, but then I grew up in the United States, and I'm now living and working in Dubai. Magdalene Nongoy Wanyaga, from Kenya. I am Rizwan Eskir, I am from Pakistan. When the city BT was opened for signature, I was like uh, five years old. And uh, now I'm 26 years old and the treaty unfortunately is not in force yet. So now uh, we are the generation that will promote the entry into force of the treaty. I slowly and gradually became more interested in nuclear non-proliferation and this whole global disarmament agenda. I took a course at UBC called Nuclear Weapons and Arms Control. And that's where we learned about the CTBT and all the dangers of the nuclear weapons and also how important it is for the CTBT to be ratified. The common people don't actually know about nuclear. So we really need to be there so that we can bring awareness. What is the relationship between your projects and the CDBDO's conference? I think that it's the key organization that is addressing public health and safety. We have to remember that every single person on this planet has a right to live in a safe world. We monitor for explosions on the ground, on the water, and in the atmosphere. So you think that CTBT's international monitoring system has acquired 100% capability, which is enough to address countries' concerns? The international monitoring system is mission capable now. We can fulfill the requirements. And so at this point, the issue is not technological, it's not scientific, it is political. The work that we have brought here for the presentation porte sur une nouvelle approche de discrimination des explosions nucléaires et aussi des libérations au niveau des, des centrales nucléaires. Une chose très importante est de pouvoir faire des mesures et aussi de pouvoir dire si ces mesures là proviennent d'une explosion nucléaire ou pas. Why you care about this work and why you think it's very important for you? Beryllium 7 and the CTBT dataset provide a unique uh, opportunity for the scientific community and therefore it's also a great opportunity for countries to ratify the treaty and retrieve this data set for their use. What's your view on the responsibility of scientists in, the, in support of the treaty? There are many things that scientists produced that we are benefiting from and that we will produce today that others will be benefiting from in the future. However, this doesn't take the responsibility away from us to stop that which harms civil society, in this case nuclear weapons. So the decisions we are actually making now are for the youth. Are you optimistic about how we are going to be able to roll these remaining eight states into the treaty? With you guys, yes. <laughs> With the youth, one has to always be optimistic. You can reach out to the people you say don't know the contribution of the treaty to global peace and stability by asking them to join you in your advocacy to make a difference. Even if this treaty is ratified, it's us who are gonna be the most effective. And that's why you know, young people from all around the world should be involved. The more time we wait, it will give the countries that have actually not ratified an opportunity to do the test without really having an obligation to anyone. 
it's not a world that I would want to live in and leave my grandkids in because it's, it's going to be scary. Yeah. Our goal is to provide a safe planet, a peaceful world without nuclear weapons to the succeeding generations and to our children.